we breathe through layers. Sometimes our breath is labored or fogs glasses, so we have to struggle to read the COVID checklist. We sign in with a security guard and clump up the stairs to the track where 20 chairs are placed, each two meters apart. As we circle, well, really we oval, we read the familiar signs, maintain social distance, no alcohol past this point. The word caution in black caps repeating on the yellow tape as though this were a crime scene and we are the detectives looking for clues or maybe we're the suspects. As we move through narrow dark corridors to wider harsh lit spaces, our shadows stretch out to touch each other, then fade, then vanish. Text from a friend, a line from the Irish poet John O'Donohue. Let us bless this space between us. Oh, you wish you could, because it is so lonely. But you know this separation also protects. You conjure a six foot tall man lying flat on the track in front of you. You glance down over the empty, red-tiered seats where the ice would be. A field hospital lies waiting, a ghostly labyrinth of cubicles, sinks, huge silver tubes and partitions, like an open-topped dollhouse where your giant childhood hand would place mommy and daddy, and then yourself, in the kitchen, at the dinner table, and later snuggled into bed. The score clock glows red and yellow like a spooky clown face, but nothing seems funny. You think of all the people in the ICU struggling for breath, thankful your family is safe so far. You wonder if they've made a masked Barbie doll yet. It's week two and strangers now say, good morning. Margaret Atwood's wry, Bluetoothed voice fills your ears as she reads her poem flatline to the poetry editor of The New Yorker. This is not a very jolly poem, Atwood says by way of introduction. Things wear out, she reads. She describes ears as skull fungus, as though we are fallen trees hosting alien creatures. But this is not forest bathing. No sense of nature's spirit, her soft fascination. Although it's good to keep moving, and we are grateful for this safe indoor space, our brains and bones too fragile to chance a fall on ice. You dream of gardens. We count each footfall. 833 meters in one lap, four laps equal a kilometer. We count days until spring, months until we get the vaccine, the unknown amount of time until we can see our friends, our children, and their children. We count our blessings. Time is altered, Atwood says. You think we have more time but we don't. The question is, what do we do all day? Poetry is a way of coming to terms with things, Atwood adds. So is walking, you think. The body moves almost without you, so automatic, while the brain scurries into yesterday and tomorrow, 
we carry on, we keep our distance. You know both walking and poetry change the brain's chemistry and affect the beating heart. The mind floats free of time, distance, and despair. Maybe you're in an old-growth forest of maple and beech. Perhaps a light rain is falling. Wind would rustle the leaves. You walk in wonder, that open heart and mind space where inspiration might reside. The words skull fungus pop into focus. Words clump into lines. You call them high COVIDs. Here's one. The ear remembers. Rest your eyes and listen. Oriole, owl, coyote. Or maybe every atom sings. Remember what you first knew. Hope grows deep roots. Maybe the last line should be hope tweets hashtag hope. You pace around the enclosure like a caged tiger. Reread the same signs. Breathe the stale air. Hope for change. We're grateful for limbs that still carry us. We take off our runners, slide into boots, find the arms of jackets, and wonder, when was the last time we held a distant loved one in these arms? It's late, the old poet says. Sing, sing what you can. See me walking down the road And I will wait It's probable that I don't know your name And I will wait I'm the guy who's walking with his dog The guy who waves And when we see you coming down the road We stop and wait when I see you coming down the road A ways away When you see me, will you move aside And change your lane Even on this little country road We go so fast And you will see me walking down the road as you fly past I give a wave, hello I wave you on I wave you're here I wave you're gone I wave good day I wave too near I wave, I wave We're here and we're walking down the road The dog and me We will stop and I will likely wave a wave to see if you see us there upon the road. A wave to say whether you're a stranger or a friend. We share the day. I give a wave, hello. I wave you on. I wave you're here. I wave you're gone. I wave. Good day, I wave, slow down. I wave, I wave, I wave, and we're walking down the road. And I will wave. It's probable that I don't know your name. And 
I will wail Even on this little country road We zoom along And you will see us walking down the road Maybe working on this song And I will Deer tracks, wet shoulder, tire tracks turn towards town. Wave to the drivers, some wave back. It's too fine a day to be run down. Wave to the drivers and hope they're awake. Morning fog's almost clear. And I want one more swim in the lake And to track the tracks of the deer Who knows if this is my last walk up the lane If it's my last coffee, springtime, birdsong, rain Chased all my life, the long shots, the shadows, the rainbows, echoes, desires. I've run from my fear of failure, of winning, to beauty, to duty, to where love inspires. of deer Mornings of some birds singing Fresh tracks of deer. 